Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Or if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm so excited because I'm going to be trying to do my first ever nose contour. I'm really intimidated, but I'm excited to just kind of practice and see what I can do to make my nose look maybe straight. Hopefully. So don't forget to subscribe and let's jump into it. So if you hear kiddos in the background and my kid is, my oldest boy is sick, so you will hear coughing in the background. My apologies. So I kinda sorta not really know what I'm doing, so we are just gonna wing it and see how it turns out. I did watch a couple YouTube videos on how to contour your nose. I didn't see a lot of how to do it on a broken nose or like a crooked nose. I saw like one or two. So I'm gonna try like a mixture of all the techniques and see how we can make my nose appear to be straight. So I don't contour that much. So I don't have many products to choose from, but I did get this product from one of the subscriptions I've had in the past. So this is Trey Q. I I don't know if I said that right. But yeah, this is the product. It is a color and contour cheek stick in Brazilian bronze. And here is the color. I don't know if you can see that. So I think... I don't know. I looked at my brushes and I think I'm just going to use a brush like this. This is from BH Cosmetics. And so I'm just going to pick up some on the brush. So this product has dried out a lot actually. So we'll see. So if you look straight ahead at my nose, it is curved more to the right. So I'm going to take in my line and I'm going to go over the curve. Just a little bit. I'm trying to look straight as possible while doing it. So, wish me luck. I'm so scared. I'm trying to follow my natural, um, how do I explain it? Like my natural eyebrow shape. I think I messed up though, maybe? No, I think I just went higher on the left side. So I'm just gonna add more to this side. Up higher. Okay, I am going to use this brush. It's more wide, more of like a blending type brush. I hope you guys can see, because this is probably not a good color to even use. So I blended it out, it's different, I don't know, but I'm going to take a little more contour and I'm going to go under a little bit to make it kind of like a button nose. So it looks like I have a dry patch right under my nose, like right here. So I was just kind of picking at it because I'm like, is that a scab or just a dry spot? Okay, so I just blended some contour right under the nose. And then I'm going to take a little bit more. Oh, my back hurts. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit more and I'm going to put some right... Let me take this other brush. I'm going to put some right here. I don't think I did that right. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I'm taking some concealer and this one is infallible full wear. And I'm just gonna give myself some highlight down the bridge of the nose. Maybe that will fix what I kind of messed up. Okay, so while I have this straight line going on right here, I'm just going to add a little bit more bronzer to the nose. Especially on the side where it's curved, 
add some more to the brush. Okay, so here's what it looks like right now. I'm going to blend out the contour first and then the highlight or the concealer. And I don't know if I went too far up to, towards the brow or not. This is kind of something that I'm going to have to play around with until I like... I think once I add more products to the face, maybe it will come together. I don't know. I'm trying to think what I should use to blend out the concealer. I'm going to use the beauty sponge. I'm just going to take my sponge after that and I'm just going to dab by the brows area. And then I'm going to take it and just kind of blend out that con uh, contour. I'm looking at it and it still looks crooked in my eyes. But it doesn't look as bad as before. So I think, I think we succeeded on the nose, con blah. <laughs> the no the nose contour. I'm going to keep trying this and see what techniques I can come up with to kind of figure this out. But overall, I'm impressed and I'm excited to practice some more and see what I can do with my unflattering nose. But yeah, I just love how contouring can just change the face totally. It's not changing the face, but it's appearing in a different way, which is amazing. This was a really quick video, but so yeah, I'm just going to contour um, the full, whole face and we'll see how it looks all together. Okay, so I just picked up this brush. Oops, what am I doing? This brush that I normally use to like blend out my concealer. I'm going to use this for, to contour and I'm just taking some products with the brush. And I'm just going to sculpt, sculpt my double chin. And I'm going to do this side. And then I'm going to take some and go directly under the chin. Like right here. This is what, blah. <laughs> this is what having kids will do to you is... Your double chin will show up. And then I'm going to take some more. Then I'm going to take some more and contour on the sides. I like my jawline and cheekbone a lot. So I'm not going to go crazy with the contour on this part. I'm just going to keep it real short like right here because I don't want I don't need my face looking any more skinny if you know what I'm saying then I'll look like I'm a tweaker or I don't eat enough which in high school and in uh, after high school I've been called that where people will call me skinny and say I need to eat more which is not okay it's like but anyways I'm just following a whatchamacallit on Pinterest and this is a contour and highlighting guide so I will save this and I will or I'll screenshot this and put it up on the screen for you guys so you can see kind of like what what I'm going by so I I don't feel like I have a big forehead that much so I don't want to really change the shape of my forehead at all, but I will contour a little bit. So I'm going to, I'm just going to add some contour to the forehead. And I think I'm just going to do like the sides a little bit. Like that. Now I'm just taking some setting spray. This is a hydrating face mist from Manicadar. 
My children are fighting in the background. And I'm just spraying my face because I already feel like the contour already dried out. So I'm hoping that will help. Y'all, I really don't know what brushes to use with these. So bear with me. I do need to go on the hunt for more brushes, especially for contouring and bronzer. I need more brushes like those. So just bear with me. I don't have the right kind of brushes right now. It's blending out pretty good. I think I've been sleeping on contouring for quite a while just because it's intimidating like I said earlier it just I don't know I just don't want anyone to look at me and be like oh girl there's mud on your face you know what I'm saying like I want to make sure I know how to blend it out before I go out and just contour and go all out you know what I'm saying like I want to be comfortable with it before I dabble into it. I don't know, that doesn't make sense because I need to practice. Practice makes perfect. So yeah. So here's the finished contour on my face. I'll look straight ahead at the camera and leave a comment and tell me what you think. Do it, does my nose look any straighter or does it look like nothing has changed? <laughs> Never mind, don't answer that question, please. <laughs> but yeah, this was actually pretty fun to kind of mess around with my nose to figure out, you know, the makeup stuff around contouring. So I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I will see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, so I put on the rest of my makeup and let me know what you guys think of my contour job. I guess it doesn't matter anyway because I'm just practicing and this was so much fun. I'm glad you guys joined me today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.